shut it open shut it open and shut it how are you great tools it's your teacher annunciator welcome to easy limo learning simplified wow what are we talking about teacher we are talking about fractions very good and what did we say anything you've understood about fractions teacher we've talked about a half and a whole and what did we say a whole is a whole is a complete thing. Are we together? What if I take a part of it away? It remains a half. So a half is one part of the whole. One part of the two pieces. So we had our rectangular cutouts. Do you still have your rectangular cutouts? Very good. What if I decide to fold my rectangular cutout like this into two equal parts. You seen fold yours? Have you folded yours like mine? Good, slowly. Let's do it. Then I decide to color. This is my mother who has just told me take the bread that that bread and share it with your siblings and. I decide to share it with my brother. And now I am here with my bread and I decide now bread. I love brown bread, not the white one. I love the white, the brown bread. And I decide I give my brother one part of the bread. I have decided to share this bread with my brother and I'm giving my brother one part of the bread let's see let's see let's see let's see so which part have I given my brother the bread was divided into two equal parts and I've decided to give my brother part of the bread. What am I remaining with? I am remaining with these are how many parts? This is part one and this is the second part. And I have decided initially this is how the bread was. Then I decided to do what? To share it equally among two people. Who is That is my brother and I. And so I have one out of two parts. And that is what we call a half. That is what we call half. And he said, what is half? Half is one part out of the two pieces. Are we together? What if I decided to share it like this? Now, let's see. Does it make a difference if I decide? Now, I want to give my brother the one to share it in a rectangular form like this you make sure the folding should be as straight as possible so that no part should come out bigger than the other Not really rectangular, but I want to share it from top to bottom using a vertical line. Like this, and I decided. Now, let me give my brother. Let's cut, share this bread into two equal parts, but using from the top to the bottom. And I cut it like this does it change or is it still part of the bread have i shared the bread equally or has it changed look at the bread has it changed it has not changed so what are we saying a half is part of the whole and when you look at that part now i want someone to tell me if I decided to share this bread like this, now 
my bread that is remaining here i decide to share it like this with my brother then i give my brother this part like this have i given my brother half of the bread have i given my brother half of the bread now tell me between this this and this which ones were the equal distribution so if you are given the bread and you're told to share equally with your brother which parts are equally distributed which part are equally shared is it a is it b is it c someone tell me which part is equally cut into two equal parts yes janet teacher it is a and c why not a why not b the half of this rectangle is here but now because maybe this one was very gluttonous she decided to do what to take the bigger part and give the brother the smaller part that is why b cannot be equally distributed and we're talking about a half as an equal thing the two sides should be equal and that is what it means by a half now i want you to to shed these things a half I want you to shed these things into a half i want people to do the shading into a half in your books do the shading into a half and tell me how will you shed a half shed that one into a half shed into a half shed into a half and tell me which one is a so that when we meet in the next lesson i want to see which ones have you shaded and how did you shed them are we together is that okay it was nice having you around and we have done it so well so let us look at the next thing and we see after half what else can we cut out thank you and hope to see you in the next lesson